Hey guys, it's Joe here from Priority Games, and I have a quick solution for those of you who can't sign into your computers after upgrading to Windows 10. If you log into your computer and immediately get the critical error, a critical error has occurred in the shell infrastructure host, start menu Cortana and some apps may not be available, please save your work and sign out to recover. Error message, this guide is for you. Now I apologize for the lag, I had to record this through TeamViewer on my main computer. So to start, right click on your desktop and hit New Folder. You can name it whatever you like. Open the folder and hit File, Open, Command Prompt as Administrator. Then type in Net User Administrator slash Active colon ES. Now sign out and sign into the Administrator account that will appear on your login screen. Then hit Start and type in User Accounts. Click on the first option. Click Manage Other Users and then click Add a New User. Do not type in an email address. Go down to the bottom and hit sign in without a Microsoft account. Then click local account. Name the account whatever you'd like. This is going to be your main account until this bug is fixed, however. Next, go into this PC, users, name of account you can't log into. Now copy all the files from that account over to the folder for your new account. It may ask you for admin permission to do this. Unfortunately, if this is your main PC or you have a lot of files, this will take a long time. This is a concern, you can copy just the files that you need. And you can always come back into this later if you don't delete the account. Now go back to the other user screen and change the account type of your new account to administrator. Now I'll sign into the new account. Now you are in your new account. If you had copied any files over, they all would have appeared just how they're supposed to as shortcuts and in the folders they were in before. Now if this is still too big an inconvenience for you, for instance if you're running this build on your main computer and would rather just downgrade until this is fixed, I'll show you how to do that as well. Just go to Start, Settings, Update, and Security on that screen. Go down to the recovery bar on the left hand side. There you will see an option to downgrade to whichever version of Windows you had before updating to Windows 10. Thank you for watching and I hope this has been helpful. If you're having a different problem or the solution isn't working for you, feel free to ask in the comments. I can't guarantee I'll be able to find a solution for every problem, but I will do my best.